Hi everyone, my name is Anka Udoc and I would like to welcome you at today's webinar Assisted Reality with Realware HMT1. Thank you for joining us today. So let's see today's speakers. Uh, this is me on the left. I'm marketing manager in XOR80. Uh, then we have Kristina Rubežnik, Realware customer care from XOR80 Slovenia. David Nimetz, Realware technical consultant uh, also from XOR80 Slovenia. Stefan Milojkovic, Realware technical sales assistant from XOR80 Belgrade. And today we have also a guest speaker joining us, Gaia Jumar, head of XR Lab from Sieva company. So what's on the agenda today? We will start off with, with XR80 company profile. We will continue with Realware company profile and product specifications. Later on, we will hear about industries. Where can we use Realware, devi Realware devices, um, solutions? What can we do with Realware? Realware sorry. Uh, we will continue with use cases from Slovenia uh, by our guest speaker, Gaia Zumar, Realware HMT1 in Hydria company and also from around the world. At the end, we will have Q&A session. So please send all of your questions during the webinar into the Q&A box or the chat box, and we will answer them during the webinar or at the end of the webinar. Uh, this webinar is being recorded and you will receive the recording in the following days uh, on your email address. Uh, once the webinar finishes, a survey will pop out in your browser, so please fill it out. We want to hear your feedback. Okay, so I suggest we start, and I would like to invite uh, our first speaker, Kristina Robežnik, who will start with Exority Company Profile. Welcome, Kristina. Thank you, Anka. Uh, so, I would first uh, like to start with um, a few facts just about our company. Uh, so our company, as you know, is called XR80, and we are a company that offers innovative software and hardware solutions from world-leading manufacturers for industrial and energy automation and digitalization. We work with highly renowned companies, uh, including Realware, for which we have become an official distributor in the year 2019 and also with uh, many other companies that you can see here on the presentation. Uh, we otherwise offer individual solutions, consultancy, and also technical support. And we cover many different areas that you can also see here on the presentation. And we cover them from our three offices that are located here in Ljubljana, Slovenia in Zagreb, Croatia, and also in Belgrade, Serbia. Okay, uh, just a second. So at this point, uh, you might be wondering what Realware even is, who are they? Uh, Realware was founded in the year 2016, and it is a knowledge transfer, transfer platform company that provides uh, first-time workers hands-free information uh, and in-the-field training to improve competency, productivity, and last but definitely not least, safety. Uh, moving on to the device that is basically the main reason we are all gathered here today at this uh, webinar, which is the HMT1 by Realware. Uh, you can see it here on the picture on the left. Uh, HMT1 is a hands-free device that has built-in Android applications that the user can activate uh, using only voice commands. Uh, HMT1 was designed specifically for industrial environments uh, where the old ways of completing tasks have become impractical and most importantly, very time consuming. Uh, and HMT1 was designed specifically to maximize work efficiency while also very importantly, providing a safe working environment for your workers. Uh, the practicality of this device is shown mainly in the fact that it, it allows you to save both time and money. How does it do that? Uh, it does that by um, offering amongst many other things, uh, remote assistance, 
so you can have an assistance by whichever expert you might need at that um, moment uh, who is not on the location uh, via video call. Uh, and this uh, experience, uh, so using uh, HMT1 for remote assistance instead of, let's say, a telephone, which is what is used currently in the industry, uh, most often is way safer and much more effective because the worker can actually concentrate on the task and has both hands free while doing this task instead of having to hold the phone in one hand, you know, explaining the situation, recording the problem, and then attempting to fix the problem or do the task with the other hand. So it's a much uh, more effective and safer experience. So we can conclude by saying that, that the current devices uh, that are being used for the functionalities that the HMT1 has are just not sufficient. Um, there are many devices, as we can see here on the presentation, that are currently used uh, for, the, for the tasks that uh, HMT1 uh, makes easier. Um, and HMT1 was designed considering all of the shortcomings that these uh, current devices have, however, still uh, including all of their benefits, you know, all of the functionalities that th these devices have are included in the HMT1, but their, uh, their shortcomings were erased. So with uh, HMT1, uh, you basically don't need the, let's say, terminal, telephone, computer, or paper, which can get wet and all of the information get lost on the location. You simply need the HMT1. Uh, which combines functionalities of all of these devices uh, and you know the problem is solved. Uh, so it's a great way to save uh, both time and money. Uh, this device is definitely a must have for all of you who strive for efficiency and maximum utilization of both resources and time in industrial work processes. Uh, and this uh, technological innovation is primarily an investment uh, for the productive operation of your company. So uh, there are, of course, many benefits of using uh, Realware HMT1, but the ones that I would like to point out uh, once again before concluding my, um, my presentation are reduced downtime, improved efficiency, it enables you to uh, enables your workers to work in a safer environment. It enables you to capture knowledge and attract workforce of the future. And also, very importantly, it saves uh, travel costs. Okay, so that would be all from my side. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. Thank you, Christina, for this uh, introduction. Uh, let's move to our next part. Uh, I would like to invite our next speaker, David Nimetz, uh, who will talk about real-world product specifications, industries, and solutions. Welcome, David. Uh, thank you, Anka. Uh, okay, so also a warm welcome uh, from my side. Uh, so now that Christina introduced us uh, what real-world is, we can look uh, deeper into the product specification. Okay, so we already mentioned one of the product, HMT1, which is the basic model. Uh, but before we start, uh, I would also like to introduce you the second model, uh, which is HMT1Z1. And this model is the first head mounted wearable for use in potentially explosive areas. As Christina uh, mentioned, uh, real wear solutions are made for the industry. This means that device, devices need to be in accordance with different standards and be used, uh, of course, in a way that does not endanger the worker. And that is why uh, real wear devices are voice controlled and can be used in a really loud environment. Uh, they are all water resistant and dust tight according to, to IP66 standard, standard and resistant uh, to two meter drops. And of course, to ensure safety, products are uh, compatible with hard helmets, 
then pump caps, and of course, also safety glasses. Okay, so to be more technical, HMT runs on an Android operating system, which means we can install uh, any Android application. It has three gigabyte uh, of RAM, three, uh, th 32 gigabytes internal storage, that can be also additionally expanded to, to uh, 256 gigabytes. The device uh, has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection, an integrated GPS sensor, and an IMU, which means in inertial measurement unit. Uh, that includes a three axis a scalarometer, magnetometer, and, uh, uh, and the gyroscope. A camera on the device uh, has 16 megapixel and can record video up to 1080 pixels. Uh, then on the boom arm is 0.33 inch uh, display with WVGA uh, resolution. Uh, battery lasts full shift from nine to 10 hours. Of course, this depends on applications that we use and is field uh, swappable. Uh, this is very important. And this means that an empty battery can be replaced uh, with a new one without turning off uh, the device. And there are also uh, applications that are already, already included. And these applications are uh, document navigator, camera, uh, barcode or QR uh, reader, video recorder, and a media player. Okay, so where can we use real-world devices? HMT devices can be used basically everywhere, in every industry, regardless uh, of the environment. Uh, but still, as you know, every industry is different and uh, requires solutions for various problems. So it is important that all frontline tasks can be made safe and of course efficient. Uh, and workers, regardless of the environment, need to stay productive and aware of the hazards uh, that surround, surround them. In addition to ensuring safety and productivity, companies in all industries are also committed to improving and educating uh, the workforce. Uh, and this uh, keep them competitive, encourage collaboration, uh, and ultimately increases uh, customers and workforce satisfaction. And by using real-world assisted reality, uh, you really get a turnkey solution to all uh, the aforementioned problems. Okay, so let's look into a few major industries, what and what challenges they are facing. And of course, how uh, real-world can help. So first we will look into the automotive industry. And the first steps or the first challenge here is of course, how to train workers, uh, how to use machines or control robots. Uh, educating workers in person can be time consuming and expert service definition must travel and line up appointments, which of course means travel costs. Uh, and with hand-free connections, workers can view training documentations or videos on demand when they, of course, when they, when they need it. Then, uh, if there, for example, is unplanned production stop, the problem really needs to be solved as soon as possible. Uh, otherwise, uh, a company can have big unwanted expenses. And with real world two video, a two way video call, experts can telestrate remotely uh, to pinpoint the issue. And of course, as I already uh, mentioned, mentioned, even in really high, high noise environment. And the last, uh, the last big challenge, challenge is customer satisfactions. 
this challenge is not uh, not only uh, for automotive industry but for all in industries uh, but here in automotive automotive customer satisfaction is really important for example car repairs uh, and customers waiting for their vehicles to be repaired over multiple days is uh, stressful and could be even costly even costly uh, so it is important the technician and customer can cooperate. A remote collaboration service can bring customers into the process with shared or live video conference. The next big industry is manufacturing. Here, holding a phone for help uh, in front of industrial machines is really not compliant with safety and could uh, even damage expensive equipment. And with voice control device, a worker can view documents or take a picture without injury risk. Uh, one big challenge uh, here is also when machines break down and they must be again fixed immediately, but experts, experts are often not available or at site. So, how to fix them safely and quickly to avoid lost revenue when an expert is, for example, halfway across the country or just at, at, at another site. Uh, with HMT, uh, you can easily connect worker and expert to video calls so he can guide the workers to solve the issue. Uh, okay, and as I said before, the safety of worker is most important uh, and that's why uh, real-world devices are compatible with safety gear, such as helmets and safety glasses. Uh, one industry that needs uh, to be error-free is also oil and gas industry. Uh, especially here, uh, there are very strict standards that worker needs to follow. And of course, also every piece of equipment needs to be according uh, to those standards. Uh, and that's why RealWare develops and produce HMT1Z1 model, which is the first model, uh, remote collaboration tool that can be used in potentially explosive environments. Uh, in oil and gas industry, there are also very high operational costs. And by adopting digital transformation, we can reduce those costs and still remain competitive. Uh, this way, uh, technicians can capture photos and videos as work is done, and then review and archive them at shift change. And one big challenge is also knowledge transfer. Because when losing expert expertise as workers, for example, retire or maybe left uh, the company, uh, new unexperienced workers need to be educated. And with the real world device, you can simply view training videos or just follow some uh, predefined steps to help uh, unexperienced workers. Uh, in the next industry, energy and utilities, uh, leaders really need to empower and connect their global workforce uh, to, 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 of course, stay competitive. But to capture inf information, workers usually still use pencils and paper. And with real world connected worker solution, all is transferred in digital, which improves frontline workers, accessibility to reference materials and expert knowledge, enabling them to get the vital information at the point of need. And of course, again, he can use camera to take picture or enter their own comments. Then one of the main tasks of frontline workers uh, is also to keep the lights on. 
This means uh, that machines need to run, for example, even in storms or maybe in disasters. Uh, and with real solutions, worker safety is not compromised because they, they can access critical data, uh, points and information, information hands free. Similar to energy industry, field service are also a lot of the time in dangerous situation. And real-world solutions allowed field service workers to maintain full situation of awareness as they complete their task and in, the, in those uh, dynamic environments. Uh, when facing a problem or maybe failure, uh, field service uh, workers needs to uh, needs immediate remote remote support or access uh, to some uh, do documents documents with needed information. And with the use of HMT, a worker can easily co easily connect with support via video call, and he can provide visual data, a picture or video, or access, of course, to all uh, relevant documentation. Uh, and at the end, whether they like it or not, they all need to provide documentation. Uh, Realware enables field service workers to take images or, uh, or video for inspection, safety, and quality for improved compliance. And also preset pre workflows enable the creation of dig digital logs uh, which can ens ensure every step is completed uh, in the right sequence and, of course, safe for the future use. Okay, so now that we review a few industries and their challenges, uh, we can look into the typical use of HMT. So what can we do with realware solutions? There are four main uses of HMT. Depending on applications, we can give remote advice to worker on the field. Uh, we can follow checklists or steps, view data sheets or schematic, and see real-time data for, uh, for, let's say, inspection. Okay, so first we will look into hands-free document navigator. Uh, viewing documents uh, on the real-world devices uh, enables workforce to view technical manuals and any other documents without needing to hold them in their hands. And using reference documents with eyes forward and hands-free improves productivity and safety. Uh, Realware devices enables this without distracting technicians uh, from performing the work of hand. So uh, if I sum up with hands-free documents, we can quickly reference. We don't need to take, for example, gloves on and off to view the documents, uh, which is time consuming. And we can simply over uh, simply open work instruction via voice uh, commands at any time. The next use is remote uh, assistance. Here, organizations are facing evolving challenges uh, when connecting connecting remote teams uh, with information whenever uh, they need it. Uh, and the peer-to-peer -peer information must be first accurate, then secure, and of course, delivered in real time. Uh, and meanwhile, also the travel restriction and different company regulation, regulations uh, augment the growing logistical obstacles for remote expert, uh, expert guidance. Uh, and these challenge, challenges impact many of today's remote teams. 
uh, and frontline workers who are often in the most hazardous environments need to safely connect uh, with remote experts or other teams or maybe with partners and clients. And whether it's training, so, so whether it's training, equipment repair, or maybe data analysis, or any other task, all can be made uh, with real world remote meter. You can connect with worker, workers using Microsoft Teams, Skype, Zoom, or really any other video call application. So you get online instruction at any time. There is no travel costs. And at the end, because all of this, it reduced downtime of machine or plant. Uh, one of the most important usage of HMT is digital workflow. Digital workflow provides visual instructions, uh, checklists, and data entry. Real world assisted reality devices enable the digital workflow um, to, reach, to reach the workers when and, uh, and where they need it, which of course improves productivity and reduced operational errors. Uh, and with digital workflow, you don't need to take off gloves to check the next step and field technician can easily access instructions to stay on track and follow while performing uh, their work. Okay, so there is no entering data by hand, which means, of course, fewer mistakes. Uh, and also, uh, digital workflow can be used for remote training for workers, uh, so they don't have to they don't have to memorize all the practices uh, and and some instructions. And one big advantage when using HMT is IIoT data visualization. Okay, so as you know, industrial IoT solutions provide operators, operators with real-time data. Uh, they need when op operating, uh, then ins inspecting or just maintain, maintaining equipment. Uh, and workers are often stuck uh, in the back offices, just analyzing data and losing real-time context, context and location. And viewing data on tablets or phones can also compromise situational awareness. But with the real world, you can safely access cloud data with the use of your, uh, without the use of your hands. Uh, and that gives worker or relevant information uh, they need to do and uh, they need to analyze or operate specific uh, specific equipment so no back office analyzation all data are real time data uh, and you get all information inside So as you could see, a real world solution can be used in every industry for every challenge the worker faces. Digital transformation through assisted reality and connected worker enable a workforce to work safely and effectively. Uh, this also will reduce downtime, errors, uh, and injury risk while accelerating pro production to meet uh, the growing global demand. Okay, so this is all from my side. So Anka, Anka, back to you. Thank you, David, this was super interesting. Um, so let's continue with our next part. Um, let's hear the use cases to know how others uh, use uh, RealWare HMT1. I would like to welcome our guest speaker, Gaia Zumar from Sieva, who will talk about the use of HMT1 in Hydria company. Welcome, Gaia. 
Okay, yeah, uh, thank you, Anka, for the uh, introduction. As a Center for Augmented uh, Virtual and Mixed Reality, XR Lab helps companies in automotive industry to implement XR uh, solutions and technologies into their work uh, and production processes. So in the next five minutes, I will uh, give you an overview of a project that increased the level of digitalization and automation of a production process in Hydria, which is one of our partners. Uh, the main focus of the project are checklists that workers need during um, process execution in order to fill in uh, data about like date of um, uh, process, starting, finishing times, and so on. But also checklists consist of list of steps that a worker has to follow and mark every completed step with the check mark. So right now, checklists are in paper form, which makes the whole process not optimized. Firstly, these checklists uh, have to be printed out. Secondly, it's uh, inconvenient to carry them around and manually fill them out by uh, hands because hands can get dirty or uh, workers are using gloves. Storing them uh, is also, I mean, in physical files is also uh, unpractical. And on top of that, uh, using them for tracing uh, purposes is kind of a nuisance. So with all this information, we came to the conclusion that uh, for more optimal work, we would need uh, mobile media that can access uh, checklists that are in digital form and therefore implemented into uh, information system of Hydria. With experts from uh, Hydria IT department and Omicron, their partner in the field of information systems, we first digitalized uh, checklists and transferred them into MESS system. Then we made some modifications to MESS system in order to access and operate with uh, checklists by using a Realware HMT1 device. What's running on the Realware device is actually a web application uh, that is part of a MESS system. You run this application by running, by uh, scanning a unique QR code uh, that generates automatically by entering workers ID number and the number for uh, work order in the uh, computer terminal. A web application is designed in a way that guides a user step by step through the whole production process. Um, and after you successfully finish with, let's say, first step, you confirm the step by using a voice command uh, check. Then application takes you to the second step of the process and so on and so on. With the uh, checklists uh, digitalized and implemented into MESS system, we reduced the human factor, enabled real-time traceability of the process, and thanks to Realware HMT1 device, uh, workers can now fill out their uh, checklists uh, hands-free and save some trees along the way. Uh, well, that's it from now, from my side. If you have any further questions, please put them in the Q&A box below or just join the Q&A session at the end of the webinar. Thank you. Thank you, Gaia, so much for showing us this interesting use case. Uh, let's continue with use cases, but this time from around the world. I would like to welcome our ne uh, next and the last speaker, Stefan Milojkovic from Exority Belgrade. Uh, welcome, Stefan. Hello, Anka. Hello to you all. Thank you for this introduction. So, to begin, uh, I have to say it's a pleasure to be here with all of you today and participate in uh, showcasing some of the uses for uh, our Realware HMT1 device. Um, 
Uh, first, I would like to go over uh, fields of primary application for this device. Uh, David already covered this, but let's go one more time. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, the primary applications for our device is uh, document navigation, visual assist, remote expert guidance, digital workflow, and industrial Internet of Things data vi visualization. Uh, today, we will talk about uh, document navigation, digital workflow, and remote expert guidance. Okay. So first something uh, about Mars Pet Care. Uh, they uh, produce some of the most recognized uh, pet brands, including uh, Pedigree, Nutro, IAMS, and more. Uh, they are on a constant pursuit to increase their efficiency and output. And uh, this is where we come into play with HMT1. Uh, one of the core values our device provides is increased efficiency, productivity, and output. So the, the challenge uh, Mars Pet Care team was facing uh, is minimizing uh, maintenance downtime and increasing workers' skills and safety. We can achieve all of this with remote expert guidance and uh, digital document navigation. Um, as you will see in the next few minutes, all of the primary applications for HMT1 are intertwined and uh, all of these features are and should be used in uh, combination to achieve the results you're looking for. So uh, how did the folk at Mars Pet Care deal with their problem? They were using Microsoft Teams in uh, Microsoft OneDrive on their HMTs. This is uh, what allowed them to have uh, hands-free access to equipment files and offsite coaching, which resulted in them being able to keep the autonomous equipment running at high capacity and also re re reducing the cost of travel expenses. Um, what they particularly targeted were, were the short stops, such as uh, resetting a machine or clearing a jam. And this was uh, never easier to achieve now that they had the right equipment to, to support them. Next up, uh, we have Toyota. Now, uh, I will have to ask you uh, for your patience <laughs> and to go through this slide with me. So how did the people at Toyota deal with problems before HMT1? Let's see. If a major problem occurs that the local mechanics could not handle on their own, they used to contact the manufacturer with a description of the problem. In addition, the workshop contacts the technical dealer support department at the German headquarters and asks for, asks for assistance. Here, an appointment is made to jointly solve the problem. An expert is then sent out into the field to get an idea of the situation on site. <laughs> so this was quite bothersome, even just for reading. Uh, and I can only imagine how much time and energy it took to, to do things this way, actually. Uh, now, with uh, the HMT1, the mechanic can contact an expert directly. Uh, the the comprehensive functions of the remote support solution provide assistance. For example, uh, parts of the assembly instructions can be displayed uh, directly in the, the field of, of, of vision of the mechanic, as you can see where the display is, uh, of the mechanic on site, uh, or instructions can be visually clarified using assisted reality features. Uh, the specialist flexibility in terms of location and time also leads to optimized personnel resource planning. And we can also see the relief in this good man's eyes uh, since he's using HMT. Next up, we have Vestas. Uh, Vestas uh, manufacture, sell, install, uh, and service wind turbines around the world. Uh, and after selling, the, their first turbine in 1979, they became the largest wind turbine company in the world in 2013. Uh, their challenge uh, was that over 30% of their workforce were reti retire in the next 10 years, as well as having to transform uh, paper-based processes to meet the needs of younger workers. 
So uh, because of Vesta's work on wind turbines that can reach heights of up to 112 meters, which is pretty tall, <laughs> uh, they needed a solution that can help turbine engineers and technicians uh, stay safe with hands-free controls, connect remotely with experts, uh, and also access the latest technical documents and multimedia. Um, Vesta's decision to choose Realware HMT1 was easy, since the headsets, headsets uh, were designed with safety in mind. And they were, uh, from the ground up, they were, they were designed with uh, safety in mind and also uh, for the industrial environment. Um, as it has been said, uh, it can con be controlled entirely with voice commands. Uh, since it's an Android device, it can do everything a tablet can, uh, just without requiring the use of the technician's hand, which is crucial here. Uh, this solution provided uh, Vestas with uh, accelerated onboarding, improved operator training before prototype assembly, enabled bidirectional knowledge capture, uh, capture and share, sorry, uh, and uh, improved information accessibility. So this will be all from my part. Uh, thank you all for your attention. It was a pleasure to speak here in front of you today. Uh, for the end, I have a short video regarding the Vestas case study. Enjoy. We're in for a winter blast this weekend as temperatures fall another 20 degrees. A high pressure system is coming in from the north. Okay, thank you, Stefan. Uh, this was very interesting. Um, thank you for showing us uh, all of the use cases and for this uh, cute video at the end. <laughs> uh, we have to come to the last part of today's webinar Q&A session. Uh, we have answered most of the questions during the webinar already. We have some more left. Uh, I think uh, David can uh, answer them. First one is, uh, what uh, if we don't have Wi-Fi connection? Okay, yes, uh, this is a very good question and also very often question. Uh, okay, so uh, of course for video calls or maybe to access to, to cloud data, you, you, you of course need internet connection. Here you have three options. First option is uh, Wi-Fi connections, but a lot of the time we don't have uh, we don't have it, especially if we are uh, outside or uh, or in the field, somewhere in the field. Uh, in that case, you can connect uh, to the internet through through hotspot of your mobile device, or you can also add to high to HMT uh, special accessory uh, LTE LTE 4G uh, modem, and in this case, um, uh, mo uh, you just ins insert mobile uh, mobile card into the modem, uh, and you get a direct uh, internet, uh, the direct access to to mobile uh, internet. So these three options 
uh, the options are for uh, for internet connection. Great, thank you, David. Uh, and another one, how to get application? I think uh, it's meant where how to get applications to use on HMT one. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. So we can install any Android applications on HMT. Uh, you can download AP key file, which is the file type of file for Android application, and install directly on on device. But uh, here you must be careful because all because all of the applications, of course, are not uh, customized customized for voice commands. Uh, so uh, here, Realware also offer you a cloud service. Uh, Realware Foresight, where you have uh, only those applications available that are already uh, customized to be used uh, with, with voice. Uh, and by this, uh, these cloud solutions, uh, you can also install those apps remotely by, by internet, which means that you don't have, have uh, you don't need to have HMT by your side or near or in your office. Uh, you can install those applications even if HMT is, for example, in uh, I don't know America, and you're here in Slovenia. You just click to uh, define which application you, you want to install, and they're inst inst installed remotely through internet. Okay, thank thank you, David. Uh, we have some more questions left, but uh, since it's past the, the time that we predicted, uh, we will contact you. Um, we will get in touch with you after the webinar. We will answer all of the questions. Um, you can always contact us to these email addresses provided here uh, for each of our offices in Slovenia, Croatia, and Serbia. We will be happy to help you with everything, with all the information that you need. Uh, okay, so we have come to the, the end of today's event. Thank you again so much for joining us. Uh, thank you also to all of the speakers and to our guest speaker, Gaia Jumar. Uh, we hope you all enjoy the webinar. Um, as said before, the webinar is being recorded and you will receive the recording to your email address in the following days. And the uh, last thing, please fill out the survey that will pop out in your browser once the uh, webinar finishes. We really want to hear your feedback. Uh, thank you again, everyone, and have a nice day.